So guys, today is the day. Apple finally invented the smartphone with different colors. This is Tech Talk Tuesday. Alrighty guys, so all the fanboys wait every single year for this when the new iPhone gets released. So today it finally happened. Apple released the new iPhone 5S and they released the new iPhone 5C. So what are these two new phones? Basically the iPhone 5S is the same exact thing as the iPhone 5 except now it comes in gold. Space gray I think is what they call it. Um, which is basically like charcoal black which is what it always was. Um, Inside the guts, it is a little bit different. It now has an A7 processor instead of an A6 processor. It has a co-processor called the M7, which deals with motion, which is basically you moving your phone and your phone doing stuff, which is super important if you want it to use it for like games and whatnot to understand, you know, if you're moving your phone as a, um, a control for games and stuff. So that is actually really, really cool. The A7 processor is now 64-bit, and iOS 7 um, with it is also 64-bit. They are saying that it is twice as fast as the A6 processor. Um, personally, I think that's a bit BS because just because you go from 32-bit to 64-bit does not mean it's twice as fast. It just means you have more bits, you can deal with more memory, um, but it does not necessarily mean you can do things twice as fast. But it definitely does give it an advantage, especially when you're playing games, you're doing a lot of graphics manipulation, and you're dealing with a lot of large numbers, essentially, um, so it will definitely be awesome for games. So I'm very interested to see what game developers do for the iPhone 5S um, with the M7 chip and the new A7 chip. Um, they should be able to do some pretty cool things. And they did demo a game and it did look pretty darn cool. Alright guys, the next big thing is the iPhone 5C. Um, C standing for color, C standing for cheap, I don't know. Um, but basically this is the lower end iPhone. Everyone thought they were going to do it, they finally did do it. And the reason they did it is because Apple is getting their butts kicked in emerging markets. In these emerging markets, we're talking like Asia, um, other third world countries, you know, people buy their Android phones because you can get them for like $99 or even $0 on contract um, because they're just cheaper phones. It doesn't mean they're bad phones, it just means they're not like the super duper 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 high end phones. And Apple has historically only produced super high end products. I mean, that was basically Steve Jobs' mantra. You either get the best or fuck you. Um, but now they decided they want to tap into that market because Android is kicking their butt and even Microsoft is kicking their butt in that low end market. So they're releasing the iPhone 5C. Uh, it comes in a bunch of different colors, which is actually kind of cool if you ask me. Um, I think the green one looks pretty awesome, but then again, green is my favorite color. The back is now plastic on the iPhone 5C instead of the aluminum that's on the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 5. Um, again leading to making it a little bit cheaper to make but it is all one piece plastic the back does not come off it is just like a normal iPhone where the battery is not removable so that means it won't have quite that same plasticky feel as like it has removable parts because it won't it will all be one solid piece so haven't held one but I'm assuming it probably feels really solid people say that it does feel nice and really solid and good in the hand so we'll see um, they're releasing the iPhone 5s for $199 for the 16GB version, and the iPhone 5C is being released for $99. Uh, it's not that much cheaper, but $100, bucks, you know, does make a difference for some people. So, um, I'm curious to see what people do. It has basically the same specs as the iPhone 5. So, it's definitely, in, by no means, bad or slow or have crappy guts. It's actually a perfectly good phone. So, I'm curious to see if people are going to immediately jump onto the 5S bandwagon or people want to have a slightly more customized iPhone, i.e. different colors and whatnot, and you know have a phone with a little more character and whatnot. So we'll see. The other big thing about the iPhone 5S is they put a fingerprint scanner on it. So you know the home button? This is not an iPhone by the way, but they have a home button right here, right? It is now a fingerprint scanner. So rather than passwords or whatnot, you just like put your thumb there, poof, it knows who you are and you have access to whatever banking you know unlock your phone do whatever cool things 
So that is actually pretty cool, except for, you know, if someone steals your iPhone and wants information, now it'll cut off your thumb, so that's pretty lame. And then, of course, there's all the crazy conspiracy theorists that just blew up my Twitter feed today about the whole fingerprint scandal. They're like, well, I guess now the NSA has all of my fingerprint information. I'm like, seriously, people, the NSA probably already has your fingerprint information anyway. I mean, who here hasn't been fingerprinted at least once in their life? I mean, I've been fingerprinted. Sometimes you need it for jobs, sometimes you need it for other things. You've already been fingerprinted. The government already knows who you are. I, that, I wouldn't worry about the government stealing your fingerprints because they already have it. Anyway, guys, what did you guys think of the iPhone 5 announcements? What did you think of the S? What do you think of the C? Um, put, tell me in the comments down below. Tell me what you think. All right, guys, if I've gotten any new subscribers, I want to say, hey, thank you for subscribing and welcome to my channel. If you have not subscribed yet, remember, click that subscribe button and you will get all of my videos. And until next time, guys, love and bubbles.